Hello, it is Wednesdays with Cheesy Poo, and every time you see me, I have a different hair color. I just started school. Grad school, YOLO. Um, so I redyed my hair blue last night. It looks a different weird shade. It's going everywhere. I think I'm gonna let it grow. It hasn't been long for like four, three, four years or something, so it's gonna look disgusting for the next like six months, but you know, I might as well do it now before my hair thins and I go bald and I can't ever do it again. This week's topic is style, clothes, all of this stuff for trans guys. Now, I just want to point out, you know I don't like passing tips because they give false hope and so on, but the passing tip that I love and will always tell people is flannel shirts, plaid shirts. That, it's not really a passing tip, but it's perfect to hide the chest area because if you have a binder, you get that like lump thing. If you wear flannel, it kind of, it makes it disappear. Obviously, this isn't the case for everybody. My boobs were like C34, 34C or something before and with binding, I guess they were like looser, like this. But it worked for me, and it really flattened me out, and people, you know, so people thought that I wasn't even wearing a binder that I already had, the, the surgery. So that's what I would recommend. I don't know what to tell you about hips. I still deal with hips, still have hips. It doesn't, you know, they don't disappear. What I recommend a little bit is, okay, I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore, but I wear H&M black pants, and yes, you can still see hips, but they're not huge hips. They don't make your hips look like super big and so on, which is fantastic. So H&M, I wear like skinny black pants, skinny jeans or whatever, skinny, I don't even know what they're called, because that's my style. Some people don't like that. That's you, but plaid shirts. Mm, the jiggle is real. Styling, like can I talk about hair? I don't know about hair. I don't know about anything. I think thick rim glasses are really good. The th trick with hair, and it's like, it's not, it sucks because if you cut it too short, then you look like a lesbian. If it's too long, you look like a girl, like if you don't pass and you're not on tea or anything like that. So it's like, you gotta find that medium space where you're like, maybe like hide, kind of hiding your eyes. So like maybe like the old Bieber, I don't even know. Like the old Bieber haircut, maybe. Flannel is your best friend. If you live in an area that's really hot, I don't know what to tell you. It gets really hot in the summer right now. I took the fan off so you can actually hear me. It's like 25 degrees feels like 34 or something. It's ridiculously hot and I can't breathe. I literally just turned off the fan and I'm sweating like crazy right now. Um, so what do you do in temperature like this? Well, you gotta deal with the heat and die. <laughs> like, you have to wear a binder, then you have to wear a shirt. I used to wear a binder, and then a white shirt, and then another shirt. And sometimes I wear a flannel, but I would like roll up the sleeves. So you could roll up the sleeves. I could wear, roll up the sleeves. I don't recommend doing this, but I, I don't know why I'm telling, with like these styles, like, I don't feel like I have style. I buy all of my clothes from H&M. I wear tank tops in the summer, I wear white shoes with black pants, like I don't even, I don't know if it matches, like I don't care, um, but I wear my shoes like a size and a half or sometimes just a size too big for me. I've always done this even before I knew I was trans just because I don't know, it felt more comfortable on my feet. It makes my feet walk a bit more like, crooked, which is not good. But I've always done it and I like doing it and it makes my feet look bigger and I have so much less dysphoria when I look at my feet. So that is something that really helps me if you're ever... I just wear like thick socks so that really helps. I wear, I wear like really tight underwear. I don't know why I'm telling you my whole like wardrobe. Uh, I just wear tight underwear and they make my fat balls on the side which is great. Hashtag dysphoria. But you know, I'm the one complaining when I'm the one not going to the gym right now. So... Oh, okay, that's all I have to say. Style though. Flannel. You gotta do the flannel. You gotta be naked. You gotta... You gotta be naked. You gotta do the flannel. Flannel is your best friend. Mm. 